Hi, this is Shelley Kraft coming to you live on SNN Live. We're at the Southeastern Medical Device Association Conference 2013 right here in Georgia Tech's Global Learning Center in Atlanta, Georgia. I have with me David Hartnett. You may recognize him from last year's right. <laughs> SEMDA. He was the president of SEMDA's conference last year. And I want you to know he is now the vice president of the Metro Atlanta Chamber. Welcome back to Thank SNN you. Live. Very much, Shelley. I appreciate it. It's good to see you again. It's good to have you. Okay, let's get right into it. Okay. VP of, of, of the... Metro of the Atlanta chamber. chamber. I, I mean, tell well, me about it. It's the, um, what do you do every day? I'm, I'm fortunate in that I have an opportunity to volunteer and help lead organizations such as SIMDA. I've been with the chamber uh, since 2006 after uh, having a, a lengthy career in the uh, medical device industry. So uh, the chamber is, uh, has 4,000 member companies which represent over a million Georgians in a variety of space. Everybody from Coca-Cola to uh, CNN, you know, very similar to sounding what you do now. I've heard of them. Yeah. <laughs> You're almost there. You're almost there. Oh, two letters are That's similar, just, just right. right. Well, I tell you, you interview much better than CNN. How's that? <laughs> Thank you for that compliment. <laughs> so, no, we are able to support businesses and we look for initiatives that we can follow, initi initiatives that we need to lead, and Simda was one that was well on its way and I joined the, as a president and it's, uh, it's flourishing. So, what do you think of some of these companies that are here? Because I know you walk around and you yeah. meet the CEOs and you sit in the presentations. I, I've seen you mm -hmm. do that. And uh, you're kind of quiet about it. You're looking, somehow you know some of the technologies better than the guys who are bringing them here. <laughs> I, it could be true. I have a uh, fortunate um, background in raising capital, looking at the angel investment. I'm an angel myself, so I'm looking at them from two perspectives. One, to try to help them to grow, to gain jobs and bring jobs to the southeast. And then second, there may be a personal investment that I could make or some of the partners that I represent could make. Well, you know, Atlanta, Hot Atlanta, I think gets the name because this is the new hotbed of medical device for an entire region between Alabama, South Carolina. I mean, you've got to see it all funneling somehow in and out of Atlanta, no? No, we do. In fact, the uh, recent statistics, we have over 300 device companies, and when you add all the device and the biotech and the pharma, we're almost 2,000 companies now. So we are clearly the leader in the southeast as it relates to science, research, and commercialization. And medical device is one of our fastest growing sectors. And you don't have a bad university system or hospital system. That's right. That's, I mean, it's Well, within a, literally five miles from here, we have multiple universities. Morehouse School of Medicine, we have Clark University, we have Georgia State, which is 35,000 students, one of the best biology departments in the country. We have Emory, we have Georgia Tech. And then you have a hospital population with, I think we have seven hospitals within a five mile radius. So when you're going to select to do clinical trials, you can have patient population for the demographic you're looking for in, in rather rapid form versus having to go all the way around the city looking for different you know, patient populations. We really do have them all. It's no secret that Atlanta is the capital of the Southeast. Mm -hmm. No question about it. Your growth is so dependent on that feeder system that there's so much job creation that I'm seeing through SEMDA, some of these companies coming through here, that you can only hope and pray that they get the funding because it means more and more jobs in the local area. Well, one good example, um, River City is a venture firm here in the southeast out of North Carolina, and they came to SEMDA several years ago and found a young company called IndoChoice. Um, founder, uh, CEO, president, a good friend of mine actually, uh, Mark Gilreath, and they invested the first round as a result of exposure they received from the audience, uh, f from the conference. And we can say um, they are one of our best success stories because last year they raised another round with Sequoia, one of the best, largest venture capital firms in the country, $43 million. So they've, at, to date, over the last five years, raised over 200 excuse me, six, $60 million, mm -hmm. and they're up to 220 employees, and they're planning to add another 130 employees in 2013 alone. And it's a home-growth Southeast company. Oh, yeah. He was, uh, 
He worked with me when we were at Given Imaging. Um, I took it to the level I could take it to, and then he took it to a whole new level. And then he came back and did a whole new startup. It started in his basement, and now the run rate on sales is about $40 million a year. On that success story note, let's get a website. So if you want to contact, find out more about Metro Atlanta Chamber, his past in the angel world and current world, get in touch. This is the website. Thank you. It's uh, www.bioscience.metroatlantachamber.com. Ladies and gentlemen, David Hartnett, the VP of the Metro Atlanta Chamber, past president of SEMDA. We're at the Southeast Medical Device Association 2013. By the way, the acronym is SEMDA. We're at Georgia Tech's Global Learning Center in Atlanta, Georgia, and I want to thank you for coming Thank on. you, Shelley. It's good to see you again. Good to see you, too. Okay, bye-bye.